Days after the collapse of the US-based Silicon Valley Bank, it's prompted fears of a full-blown crisis in the sector. Credit Suisse, once a powerhouse in the banking world, has been hit hard by repeated scandals and financial losses, resulting in a $100 billion decline in market value. The bank's largest investor recently refused to buy more stock, causing a 28% one-day sell-off. Credit Suisse's bonds also showed signs of distress, with some dropping to just 70 cents on the dollar. He tried it. <laughs> the bank received a massive $54 billion loan from the Swiss Central Bank to boost its liquidity and calm investors. But can Credit Suisse recover from these setbacks? And how does all of this affect Swiss and international banking? This video will give you a glimpse of the new world we live in now with the Credit Suisse case. The trouble began in 2019 when Credit Suisse was embroiled in a spying scandal that led to the resignation of CEO Tidiane Tiam. The bank's reputation was further tarnished in 2020 when its wealth management boss left for UBS and private contractors were hired to spy on him. In 2021, Credit Suisse suffered a pre-tax loss of nearly $1 billion due to the collapse of two major investment funds, Archegos Capital and Greensill Capital. The bank's investment bank CEO and chief risk and compliance officer left soon after. An independent investigation revealed that Credit Suisse had failed to manage risk effectively, but found no evidence of illegal conduct. Credit Suisse's woes continued in early 2022, when Chairman Antonio Horta Osorio resigned following a scandal related to his breach of COVID-19 quarantine regulations. By mid-2022, rumors began circulating that the bank was facing an impending failure, prompting clients to withdraw $119 billion in funds in the last quarter of the year. Credit Suisse announced plans to borrow up to $54 billion in early 2023 to shore up liquidity and boost investor confidence. However, the bank's top backer, Saudi National Bank, announced that it would not provide additional funds due to regulatory issues. It's panic, uh, a little bit of panic. Um, I believe completely unwarranted, whether it be for Credit Suisse or for the entire market. The final straw came in March 2023 when two U.S. banks collapsed, causing widespread panic in the global banking system. In Switzerland, the executive branch voted to allow UBS to take over Credit Suisse without shareholder approval. The collapse of Credit Suisse can be attributed to a combination of poor management choices, scandals, and significant financial losses. The bank's failure highlights the importance of effective risk management and the need for transparency and accountability in the banking industry. The collapse of Credit Suisse has sent shockwaves through Switzerland's financial industry and beyond. The 167-year-old iconic corporate brand created by celebrated business leader Alfred Escher to fund a golden period of industrial growth has now ceased to exist. The Swiss authorities have been forced to intervene engineering a last gasp rescue package to save the bank from total collapse. The rescue package has come at a cost. The Swiss government agreed to provide 108.4 billion US dollars to ensure the deal is completed. The takeover has resulted in 17 billion US dollars of Credit Suisse issued bonds being written off as worthless, which will have long-term consequences for any Swiss financial debt. Investors may now think twice before putting their money into Swiss corporate bonds in the future. The collapse of Credit Suisse may have an impact on Switzerland's reputation as a stable, strong banking country. The failure of one of the country's oldest financial institutions, the bank that financed the construction of Switzerland's railways, could have far-reaching consequences for Swiss citizens both inside and outside the banking industry. The bailout by the Swiss government has raised concerns about legal certainty, stable governance, and clear decisions between Switzerland's political and business worlds. The Swiss government forced the Credit Suisse takeover without a shareholder vote, circumventing the law and denting property rights in Switzerland. Swiss law professor Peter V. Kunz warns that lawsuits will arrive and investors in Switzerland can expect to be expropriated without a legal basis. Credit Suisse's demise will be felt all over the world. 
the global financial system responded by attempting to stabilize banks. In the immediate aftermath of the takeover, central banks moved to coordinate daily access to a lending facility for banks seeking to borrow U.S. dollars. The takeover of Credit Suisse by UBS has far-reaching consequences. The future of the bank's global offices and its 50,000 employees is uncertain, as UBS may absorb some or all of them while closing or laying off others. Following the transaction, UBS is expected to have approximately $5 trillion in total invested assets. The collapse of Credit Suisse has significant implications for the Swiss banking industry, global finance, and the economy. The bailout by the Swiss government has raised concerns about legal certainty and property rights. The loss of an iconic brand could damage Switzerland's reputation as a stable and robust country for banking. The wipeout of Credit Suisse's contingent convertible bonds highlights the risks of investing in corporate bonds. The fallout from this seismic bank failure will likely be felt for years. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the Credit Suisse case, subscribe to Ape Finance for more exciting videos, and we will see you in the next one.